Yeah, hello, uh, my name is uh, Martin Gallagher and I'm a singer songwriter. So, Martin, how did you get into music and what inspired you to start making music? Um, what first of all inspired me was I was in Ireland for a while and I was really, really young, I was about eight. And uh, my cousin, she's a woman, uh, I saw her, I went basically into the living room and I saw her play guitar. And before this, I'd never, I'd never really like seen anything like that before. I'd never seen someone with a guitar and project themselves. And I saw, I saw her play, and um, it, it just, you know, it just blew me away. You know, and I remember thinking like, well, you know, one day I'm going to do that. You know, and maybe I'm going to do it better. You know, what she was doing. And but like. I wouldn't say now that I do, but it's just everyone's different when they play guitar. Everyone, you know, that's what's brilliant about it. Everyone's different, you know. No one's really kind of the same. So. But that's really what made me want to play, you know. Yeah. What kind of records when you like, obviously, like that, from what age, what, what kind of music touched you and inspired you, like, to, to the way you do music right now, kind of thing? Um... It would have been, once again, it was that same time when I was in Ireland and I heard, um, I had another cousin and he had the great hits of the Beatles, the Red Album and the Blue one, and I would listen to the Red Album a lot, and I thought it was incredible, I thought like the singing was good, but the thing I really liked was, was the harmonies, when they would harmonise, you know, and of course the songs, you know, the, the old songs that they did, um, and that, that was like uh, an influence to sort of, you know, to mimic that to some extent, you know. I really, I really liked, I really liked that, you know. And, uh, and also I, like now, I, of course, I like Peter Green, uh, I Need Your Love So Bad, Live at the Shrine, that's my favourite song of all time. And uh, Day in the Life, John Lennon, stuff like that, really. I mean, um, obviously, when you're writing songs now, I mean, uh, how do you start? What it, well, I mean, what inspires you to write a song right now, and like, what kind of, you know, you know, how do you start? I mean, how do you go about start writing a song? Is it the lyrics first, guitar parts, or you know, the structure? How do you go about writing a song? Um, how does a song come to your head like that? Um, when I when I wrote "Dream Your Head Off," I wrote that really quickly. And uh, I like that. You know? I mean, it, I just wrote it really, really fast. I like the chord changes of it, and I like that one. Uh, but normally, I have to work hard when I write songs, and I'm not happy when I have to. But normally, I'm kind of lazy as a songwriter. But the only thing that that makes me not lazy is when I become um, obsessed by something or someone. Um, and also, like, the, you know, the subject matter might be a bit sort of strange as well, and I, you know, and it just has to grab me, and then I'm prepared to work and, and kind of get it together. Really. Yeah. So, I mean, where do you want to see your music go? Like, you'll see, you said to me, you, you're going in the studio, getting some tracks done. I mean, what, what do you want to do with your music? What do you aspire your music to go? Um, I suppose I'd just like people to hear it, really. Maybe on the radio, just just get a song on the radio. Uh, uh, and I suppose, you know, I just, I just want to like, maybe with one song, one day, I just want to touch somebody or people, you know, maybe make them you know, make, make them reflect, whatever, you know, it's just, that's what I want to do, and I'd like to make a record that can do that, you know, um, hopefully. What does music mean to you? What does it mean to you? Uh, like music, good music, I think, like, uh, music is, 
music, the best thing about music is that you can't, I mean, you can see someone performing, but when they, when they play something, and then from there it goes to your ear, and you hear it, and it affects you, it can make you cry, it can make you, it can make you dance, it can make you uh, reflect. But that's what's so brilliant about music, because it's ghostly, you know? How can it do that? How can it, like, and also classical music. You know, there's some classical parts I'll put on it, and I'll just, you know, it makes me reflect if I'm alone, and I, you know, I might even, like, feel like crying or something, do you know what I mean? But it's the ghostliness of whatever that is, whatever, you know, whatever that is. It's just, that's what's awesome about music. And, you know, people are always, like, putting such an emph emphasis on religion. But we don't know whether, you know, there's a God or there isn't. But music, you know, in a way that's even more incredible, really, if you think about it. It's just, it's just, it's in the air vibration, it's just awesome. That it can affect you like that. You know? So it's a new question I'm throwing out there to everyone is, uh, what is your favourite era? So you've got, obviously you've got the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, even present. I mean, what, would you, what would you say your favourite era in your record collection is, kind of thing? Was that? I, I would say like, uh, sort of middle 60s to the end of the 70s. It would be that, that era. You know, you know like Jimi Hendrix, uh, Beatles again, and Nick, Nick Drake. Nick Drake, though, I only like one of his songs, Saturday Sun. The rest of it is a bit, you know, too folky, really. But that song is beautiful, right? So. But that, that would be, th those eras would be the ones that I like. What do you think this era at the moment is missing towards, obviously, you know, we can't really compare both different times, but, you know, what's this era of music missing from the end of the 60s and 70s kind of thing? Um, Songs, you know, like an actual song that someone writes, you know, that makes you want to go to the record shop, you know, and actually buy a record, you know. I mean, I never hear any songs anymore, you know. I mean, I mean, what, you know, most of it is like a half attempt, you know, it's just, there's just, just nothing there. I mean, not, I'm, you know, that's the truth. Cool. Well, Martin, man, thanks. Thanks for talking to us. And, uh, Thank you. I mean, we'd hopefully catch up with you in a couple of months and see where we are. Okay. Thanks. Peace, man.